So I'm browsing on Google for you have to play Friday Night Funkin. Click on the first site, which was Crazy Games with Tayo and uh, Okay. I never tried the game, but instead I wanted to make my games to be on this beautiful website I just found. Check that developer site and you won't believe what I found. They say killing to have over 70 million players and uh, 1 million for mobile games. That's a cool though. And that's not even the best part. The best part is that the developer you can earn, wait for it, wait for it, bread. Yeah, just by uploading your games. Although they check quality and stuff, who even cares about that stuff? I had to make a game to test this and I decided to make it in 3 days because we game devs like stress. Yo, 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 game devs, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> I decided to use an old game jam game but make it better because I need this bread real quick. Now, time to see. Uh, I chose them just because I think it's a great game and it has messed up controls, but and too much gold, but it has any five breaths on each door aisle. Thank you, awesome donor. Back to good old. Alright, I have to make better controls this time. And uh, I never searched again, but that's when my pal hit me with a solution to share kids can go top down cast movement tutorial. Uh, why is it moving forward? Why are you rotating? Stop rotating and move forward. I never tried again. A wise man once said, if you can't copy, you take a copy of it. You don't understand, right? All right, control A, control C, control V. Whoa, 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 hold up. There's a tiny little button down there. You won't even notice it. Don't mind me, King Sky Code. I'll just be borrowing this. I got the player movement now by making the car script a class of the player and the player in heavy the class. But the control still sucks. To fix that, I had to make a code fusion. And now you use your mouse to control the player, to rotate the player, and W or left click to move. I also wanted the player game to be playable with a controller. So I did some rubbish coding and stuff. Okay, yeah, it is. Yep, it's totally gonna work. Okay, run it, good day. And to my greatest surprise, it actually worked. I wanted to play this game on my mobile phone too, and so I need a partial joystick, and I have no idea how to code one. So I hit YouTube and watch it. Today I'll be watching and failed to get it right back in the days of humble beginning. And uh, there was a talk rep actually in the video description I've never seen before, so. Sorry bro, now he is how cold, you get it, you get it? And by using my brain a little, I was able to make the game player move and rotate via the virtual joystick. Kudos to me, right? I really wanted to test out crazy games as fast as possible and head back to developing Flamings. And by the way, Flamings is just a 3D runner game I'm making where you can transform into a super saiyan god and throw huge fireballs at people. Follow me up so if you don't even know when the game is ready for download. So I decided to make only 6 levels cause I played a Sigma Asha game with only 5 levels. Yeah, so 6 should be fine plus I'm not that creative when it comes to level design. The game basically has 4 normal levels and 2 boss levels. And each of the levels will be given a number of enemies to vanquish and when you succeed you can proceed to the next level. I went all out in designing on the bosses. Yeah, the first boss is very very quite familiar. For those of you who have played games like this, you will recognize him. And uh, this is the boss. Yeah, looks great, right? Uh, anyone? He's really strong though. I also made another which is literally a shuriken. They both have special attacks, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. This is a video, and we're gonna keep it a video. And one thing people always advise in mobile games was to make a game endless. So I had there an endless level with a scoring system and high score and a save data system to store your coins, scores, levels, and some stuff. I don't really know why I haven't deleted them from the dictionary. And the only thing you can do with the coins is to get a second chance when you die. Because you need to get get a second chance when you die, <laughs> right? Also, once your score reaches 200 in the endless level, your boss is spawned to take you out. All right, in three days, the game was done, and I submitted it to Crazy Games for publishing. I know you're probably wondering why hasn't the video ended yet. Well, it's because my game was rejected. Yeah, and they didn't even give me a reason why they rejected because they said they are too easy. They ruined my plans. They ruined my plans to make bread. And also, they ruined my video scripts. I never worked on Doom again. But that's when I remember the story of a dude who was trying to invent a bulb that tried 999 times and it worked out a thousand times. Why even try to invent something that's already been invented? I decided to go to with plan A. Oh, actually, Crazy Games was plan B. I was so focused on it, I forgot about plan A, which. <laughs> 
I know most of you hate hearing it, but I'm saying it anyway. Google Ads, aka AdMob. I opened up Google and started working on integrating my ads in the game, and that's when I discovered why Crazy Games rejected my games. Bugs. Yeah, a lot of them. I started playing and fixing bugs, and I was getting destroyed a lot, so I needed to do some little shitting. Now I have unlimited coins. If you want this mode, is just simply download the mobile version and watch us until you have this much coins. And by doing that, we'll be doing both me and you a favor. Yes, I added only video ads and banner ads, and that show only in the main menu. Not interrupting your gameplay or your experience. I'm a very modest guy. Next was sound effects and music. For, for music, I use the same song I once used in a not so popular project. I'm not even happy about the project. And I got on that by like music and free sound as well. And for sound effects, I just picked up my favorite sound the open it on Audacity and played with some effects and bass boosts and stuff. And I got some different sounds. Pretty dope, right? And after five days, the game was ready to be unleashed to the world. <laughs> I saw it again and sent it to Crazy Games and it got rejected. Again. Crazy Games, you can g I exported the game for Windows, Mac and Linux and I was struggling to make a decision. Should I make the game free to play or place a price on PC? Guess what I came up with? If I made the PC free to play and Android users get ads, it's kind of shitting. So I know you probably don't want to hear this but I put a uh, hundred, I mean sorry, sorry. 1.99 bucks. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, but feel free to add more zeros before the dot like trimmer because I need the bread. I will also because I haven't uploaded it yet on Android stores, so get ready for Android stores if you don't trust each of you and the ones I uploaded is there. Alright guys, go download the game, it's free. Don't forget about the shit I showed you for mobile users. This is my first commercial game, so surprise me. Thanks for sticking to the end and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably be making more videos like this in the future. So like, subscribe and download the game. I want it to reach 1000 downloads before the weekend. Share it with your friends. If you have any feedback or bug report, drop it in the comments in whatever portal you found it. Thanks for watching. I'm Desus and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hasta la vista, baby. I opened up Goodot and started working on... I opened up Google and started working on integrating my game. Uh -huh. I started. <laughs>